This is Haley and Michaela. Welcome, Welcome to, to Rabbit, Rabbit 5 News. News. This episode, we are adding a new segment. We will be interviewing the teachers of the elementary. Now to sports. We're asking Carson Box some questions about basketball. What kind of drills do you do? Layups, box out drills. Sometimes we just shoot, stuff like that. What do you do? Do you play fun games like lightning? Yes, we play lightning and middle on the shark sometimes. What do you do in practice? Sometimes we set a timer for one minute and see what groups can make the most free throws. Okay. And drills and stuff like that. Well, this is sports. Today we're asking Major and Teats, how's wrestling doing? I'd say they're doing pretty well. Vander Rathlitz has got first a lot. He's done very well. He went up to Mankato this weekend, I think it was, and he got second. But he lost to a sixth grader, so he did very well. He went into overtime, and we're trying to get Isaac Main to do, get into at least one of the tournaments. Okay. And team, the, one of the, the next team meet is January 15th. So, mm. How many people are in wrestling? I'd say 32 if I remember right. What do you do in wrestling practice? We work on takedowns. We do some warming up exercise like butterfly, um, squats, running, and some other things. But we do takedowns. We do half Nelsons. We're working on live wrestling right now. Can't wait for the next tournament. Now to reading the friends. Policemen, policemen, help me, please. Someone stole my knees. I chased them down, but I would expect my feet and legs just won't connect. I hope my knees don't get taken away. Now to Cookie with Carson. Cookie with Carson is now canceled for this episode. <laughs> Why does it have to be canceled? Now to interviews. Now to the interview with Miss Williams. What is your favorite thing about teaching? I really enjoy the kids and coming to school every day. And every day is different. You never get the same day. What will you miss most about your class this year? Um, I really like the students in my class this year. And having 13 is great because you can do a lot with a small number. And they always have fun stories to tell them. They're always eager to share them. They like hearing them. So that's good. What would, why did you want to become a teacher? I really, ever since I was a kid, I enjoyed school. I enjoyed coming to school. It didn't seem like a work. I mean, obviously, when you're little, waking up in the morning is hard to want to sleep in. But um, I like kids and I like being around kids, and it's fun to watch them learn and teach them how to learn. What would you do if you found a kid sleeping in class? Well, that has never happened. <laughs> I'd probably go over and just gently tap them on the back and wake them up and just kind of shake their shoulder until they woke up. What would you do if your whole class failed the test? Um, I would say if a whole class failed the test, it would probably be my fault because I clearly didn't teach them the material enough for them to pass. So we would go over it again, maybe take a couple days and break it down smaller or simpler so they understood better. What would you do if only one kid came to school? Hmm, that's a really good question. If only one kid came to school, well, it depends on the kid, but we would probably do some sort of educational games and activities and maybe have an extended recess and... Why does it have to be canceled? Now to interviews. Now to the interview with Mr. D. What is your favorite thing about teaching? My, the students. I absolutely love teaching with the kids, having the kids around. and Watch them grow and how they change and how much fun they are. What will you miss most about your class this year? This year's class is really a caring class. They really care about other people. And they really care about helping others and making sure things are fair. That, that's one thing, at least so far, that, that I will miss when they go to fifth grade. Why did you want to become a teacher? I've always liked school. I liked going to school. I liked schools. I just thought it was a good fit. What would you do if you found a kid sleeping in class? 
Well, the first thing I'd, I'd have to wonder is maybe he wasn't feeling well. Maybe he was just tired. Maybe he needs a little nap. Maybe send him to the nurse's office. And unfortunately, maybe he's bored. <laughs> I have to excite things up a little bit. What would you do if your whole class failed a test? Well, that would have to be something I would have to look at. Maybe I didn't prepare them for the test enough. Maybe we need more practice on those items. Um, it could be I have to teach it a different way. If it was fractions, maybe I need to show more pictures or more hands-on things. So um, probably go back and start from the scratch. Start from scratch and hopefully we'd do better. What would you do if only one kid came to school? That would be hard because you probably wouldn't do a whole lot of what was scheduled. So probably, depending on who the student was, maybe review things or practice things that he still needs or she needs work on. That would be interesting. Those are some interesting questions. Now to make cake with Michaela. Hello, this is Michaela. Welcome to Making Michaela. Today we'll be making a snowflake. So first you get your popsicle sticks. Make an X, and then put one popsicle stick over the X, and then another X. Way to get in the season. Now to birthdays. Happy birthday to... Delena Ice, Maddie Nelson, Mesa Nelson, Stephen Lensing, Jaden Marotsky, Aiden Schuer, Zachary Skolbush, Meredith Haven, and Mackenzie Self. Happy birthday! Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.